Alright guys, uh, today we're going to have something different. It's going to be a underused battle. And this one actually turned out kind of fine because, well, you'll see. But anyway, uh, he starts out with his character and I start with Mismagius. And uh, I know that that character and I are supposed to set up t uh, t spikes. So, yeah, if, naturally I just taunt. <clears throat> Here I thought he'd switch, however, so I just went for the will But I just ended up getting the will o on the character and then... Now I think it has sucker punch, so I'm pretty. Sh I go to Steelix, and it turns up it does. And I think I'm just gonna try to kill it. Well, I wait out for no, no, no I, I'm sorry. I set up Stealth Rocks, and now I'm planning on um, <coughs> stalling out. But unfortunately, the um, taunt is it's like the minimum amount of turns for taunt. So yeah, I just pretty much get screwed over there, screwed that way. Um, so he does get a l one layer of spikes. And now he sent in Polyrath, and um, I'm gonna send in Tangrel to uh, Wallet. Well, he's just a, a sub, so I know it's a sub bulk upset. And uh, now he's just going for the Focus Punch because that's what sub uh, bulk up character or er, Polyrath do. I go for the Earthquake, but it turns out this um, variant of Polyrath is uh, actually sturdy enough to get. Um, <coughs> actually survive it and keep the sub but so yeah I pretty much have to waste another turn while he bulk ups to uh, um kill the sub and uh now I'm pretty sure he's gonna sub down again so I just go for the power whip in a second here yep and here's the first turn of hacks and uh I miss and that was just awesome totally freaking awesome so anyway even with the plus one bulk up uh, Tangled his power whip is strong enough to take out the sub and at this point he's just wasting turns so we're gonna start off the next couple of turns while he um, with him using substitute and me just killing the sub with power whip until uh, <clears throat> he decides to sub down again when Except down for the last time, doesn't have enough, and well, yes, oh yeah, but uh, well, actually he did have enough. But anyway, my thought process was that I could, I wanted to sleep in, but I couldn't really risk it getting a get uh free sub and another bulk up, so I just went for the safe power whip. And here I thought, okay, I could sleep this thing, switch into toxic croak, and swords dance up, and then just rip through his team. Unfortunately, he's got wheezing so yeah so now I go to melodic and I my whole thought process here was that he would assume this is bulky melodic and since he couldn't thinks he couldn't do sh uh, shit to it he had switched it to polyrath to try to um, because t poly both sub polyrath can wall bulky melodic all day but and he'd also gain HP from a boosted hydro pump but you know Instead, he just decides to play it safe in Thunderbolt, but... So, after that, I know he's not going to switch, so I just go for the safe Hydro Pump. And now he just goes to Rotom, and he subs down, and I wasn't really sure what it wanted to do, but I know I could survive, like, one hit or something from this thing. So, I just recovered this kind of scout to see what kind of uh, Rotom it is. And... Now, I, fr I find it's a Charge Beam one, and I'm like, oh, shit. So, I'm thinking, I gotta kill this sub now, and I don't want to risk Ice Beam, uh... Hydro pop missing, so yeah, and I'm gonna protect. Uh, I don't think he would want to go down for another sub again, cause he want to kill this melodic off. So I switch to Steelix to take the obvious Thunderbolt, and now I just go for this uh, safe Stone Age while he goes for Shadow Ball for whatever reason. But unfortunately, Shadow Ball or er, Stone Age isn't gonna be quite nearly enough to kill it, and so I pretty much have. Just go for the Stone Age again because I really want to kill, kill that Rotom off. But unfortunately, he just switch out, switches out to Polyrath again. And I know I can survive another a Waterfall from this thing, so I just stay in. But instead, he just subs down and I just Earthquake it for the, um, to break the sub. And now, I, here I was assuming he would switch, but... Um, well, actually not switch, but just... Well, actually, yeah, switch. So I went for the Stone Edge, predicting, you know, I don't know, Rotom or something, I don't know. But 
<clears throat> I get a crit, and that's enough to take it down, which is really, really good for me. And now he sends an Earth Ring. So I'm thinking it's either Quick Feet or Guts. And I was assuming it's Guts because that's just that thing is just a freaking monster. And here are my thought process with that. I could switch into Miss Majors, get the Will O Wisp off, and just um, wall it from there. But it turns out it's a Quick Feet variant. So now I just sacrifice several of my Pokemon just to wear it down. So I could switch in Toxicroak and Sucker Punch and um, Toxic Damage will take it down. So, Melodic just falls to a, a boosted gut, um, a boosted guts facade. I mean, not guts, but um, you know. Anyway, so I s just go for the sucker punch. It doesn't quite kill it, which makes me sad because I lose toxic croak. But, um, you know, the toxic damage will take it down too. So this game isn't completely lost yet. So next, I s um. Switch to my last Pokemon, which is Magmortar. He switches in his Rosehom. I know that Magmortar's special defense is good enough to take one, so I just go for the safe Fire Blast. And yeah, this Rotom just gets decimated by a stab fire uh stab life for a boosted fire blast. And I was kinda hoping that his last Pokemon would be slower than mine. But it turns out it's a Houndoom and you know, Houndooms are faster, so he's able to just get off the final uh, Dark Pulse to win the game. So, uh, yeah, good game, and, uh, see you later, guys.